Good evening, my name is Pastor Jeremy Shines and this is Biblical Answers. So today's question is, why do people hate God? Today we're going to be looking at Jeremiah chapter 2 verses 5. This is what the Lord says, What fault could your ancestors have possibly found in me, that they strayed so far from me? They paid allegiance to worthless idols and so became worthless to me. Let's pray. Father, we ask you to bless this word. We ask you to speak through these lips. We ask you to teach us and instruct us according to your perfect sovereign name and your word. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So there you have it right there. What fault have your ancestors found in me? Let me use it in today's language. Have you ever seen me sin? What mistake have I ever done to you, God says? You know, people usually say, well, I'm not perfect. So it kind of justifies why we can do wrong, right? Or why we did wrong to one another. But God says, what mistake have I ever done to you? What sin have I ever committed to you? What wrong have I ever done to you? And no one can say, well, there's that one time you did this to me. It's very interesting how God takes all the blame, though he didn't do anything wrong. Now, I did wrong. Pastors and preachers and evangelists and Christians and priests and reverends, they do wrong. The government we know, our parents, our brothers, our sisters, everyone does wrong. But God does nothing wrong. To any of us. And the Bible describes him as being a good God and a just God. So when we do wrong, he punishes us accordingly. Now, not every punishment that we see is from God. We know that because we know we're sinful, right? But in actuality, the scriptures are saying, I didn't do anything wrong, the Lord says. Why did you forsake me? Why did your parents forsake me? Why do your parents hate me so bad? You know, Jesus says in the New Testament, when he's walking here on this earth, right? He says, they hated me without a reason. Think about that for a second. They hated me without a reason. We hear so many people complaining about God these days, right? If God is so good, then why do people starve to death? If God is so good, then why do people get hurt or murdered? Why God is so good, why is taxes so high? Why, 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 right? I asked the same questions before I met the Lord and started to get into his word. God is good. We are not. God is just. We are not. God is perfect. We are not. So the reason why all these things happen is because we have free will. And given according to human nature and according to the word of God, we always choose evil over good. I don't have to teach my children how to do evil. I have to teach them how to do good. I don't have to teach them how to be mean. I have to teach them how to be nice. That's our natural nature is to just do wrong, to think wrong. So much so the Bible says that's all we do. That's all we crave. That's all we want to do. That's all we know how to do. And so what a good God does is he takes our punishment upon ourselves being in the person of Jesus Christ. Isn't that good? Even when we don't deserve it, even when we weren't asking for it, he chases us down. He rescues us. He washes us. He cleanses us. And because he does this great thing for us, we should be in awe, usually, if it's genuine, to where the least we can do is serve him. That's the least, that's the reason I serve him, because of what he's done for me. I wasn't looking for him. I wasn't asking for him. I was giving him every reason to hate me, and he loved me. God has not done anything wrong to me. You know, my parents and siblings and people in the world right? We have to learn how to not put that on the Lord, on God, and start to look at it as human beings. What fault has your ancestors found in me 
that they strayed so far from me? And the answer is found in John 1. Men love darkness rather than God. God hasn't done any of us wrong. He's the only good we have. And he wants to set us free and save us every single day because we need it every single day. So if there's bad in your life, it's, it's not from God. And if it appears to be bad, and it is from God, and we probably did something wrong. Why do people hate God? Because people love sin. That's why. You can only love one. You can love God, or you can love sin. You can't love both. And when you love sin, it makes you hate God. And when you love God, it makes you hate sin. Amen? That's all I got for you. This is Biblical Answers. My name is Pastor Jeremy Shines. God bless.